Obviously, receive the light and pass it on, and that is exactly what we do in the relay. The cavity, as much as it is a rivalry, it's a good time for all of us throwers and like throwers especially to come together and to have fun. Hello and welcome to Dubsy TV's McEvity Special. I'm here today with Sean Howe, one of our throwers for McEvity, and I'm interviewing him about all things to do with the shield. So, welcome Sean. Thank How you. are you? So first of all, I'd like to ask you, um, so just introduce yourself a little bit to all the people watching. Sure. Uh, well, my name is Sean Howe. Uh, I'm a year 13. I've been competing in McEvity every year uh, since 2014. Yeah, and in shot put and discus. I'd like to ask you, what does McEvity mean to you? Uh, well, McEvity, as much as it is a rivalry, it's a good time for all of us throwers, and like throwers especially, to come together and uh, have fun, mainly, yeah. How do you prepare for McEvity? What's your route regime? Um, well, there's a lot, a lot of training. Uh, I train between six to eight times a week. Um, I'm also in the gym a lot. Yeah. You can see. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of lot of training, a lot of coming out and throwing up here on the top field as well. And so, how do you feel when you're actually on the day, on the big, in the big, the big one? It's always it's always nervous um, when you first get out there, but when the boys are chanting for you and you feel that energy, it's really good. That's good like, stuff. And do you have any inspirations for you know just competing, or do you watch anyone in the media in the Olympics or anything? I'm always watching, I'm always watching the Olympics and watching the top throwers. None of them are like really inspirations to me. My, my only real inspiration is my coaches. Yeah, that's good stuff. Who are your coaches? Go on, name. Uh, my coaches from Soul Power Throwing Academy, uh, Shaka Solar and Brad Stein. Oh, good stuff, good yeah. stuff. And what's your favourite event, or what do you think you're best at? Uh, or both. It changes. It, yeah. it varies. Um, right now, my discus is probably my best one. And what's your personal what's your personal best in there? Uh forty eight eight nine. And what's the do you know what the world record is? <laughs> Something a bit bigger than that. Like, yeah. Almost. One day though. One, one day. day. Exactly. One day. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk to us about? Is there anything uh, you'd like to tell the guys that are watching the video, the dub seat guys or anyone from any other schools? Just get amongst it. Um, if you if you think you might be good or if you just like it, come down. Give it a try. And I'll also ask you one final question, Sean. Sure. Who's going to win the McEvity Shield in 2018? Well, I don't want to jinx it, but we do have a pretty strong team. So we'll find out. I think, I think we all know what that means. Well, thank you very much, Sean. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you on the event. Cheers. So here we are, March the 6th, the McEvity Shield. Behind me, you can see the athletes warming up as we are ready for this magnificent event. So, who's gonna win? Some past town, Dubsy, Romantai, or Silverstream? Well, throughout the course of the day, myself, Daniel Stockton, and my team of excellent camera people are here from Dubsy TV, and we're gonna record it. event started it's very loud as you can hear Dubsy have just arrived if you just want to have a look over there and the Dubsy are 
Dub CR here behind me. The under 14s, 3000 meters just started and the atmosphere here is electric. So we will be following, we will be seeing you throughout the day and we hope you enjoy the event. So here we have behind me, we have the shot put. So uh, this is where some of the boys are gonna be competing. Sean as well. Hopefully you'll see him from our video before. He'll be competing here. Oh, there he is. There he is, speak of the devil, throwing a discus. Very nice. So we have the discus, the shot put, and the javelin all from that. So uh, here we have Dubsy, they have arrived. So let's go and see if the boys have a good chance. Hello and welcome, I'm Daniel Stockton with Dubsy TV, and with me is Jamie Kearns. He's going to talk to us about McKevity and his experience today. So Jamie, what have you done today? Uh, I've done long jump, high jump, and triple jump. That's awesome, man. How'd you do in those events? Uh, for high jump, I came second. Uh, same with triple jump and a one long jump. Fantastic! We've got gold medalists here with two silvers on the side. So, um, how have you? How's your preparing for McEvity been? Uh, what's, your, what's your training been like? It's been pretty good. Three trainings a week Ooh. with Wellington College. Yeah. Uh, Monday jumps or Monday high jump, Wednesday long jump and triple jump. Oh, that's awesome, man! And so, uh, so how's the day been for you? How's it? How's, how, have you, how have you felt? How have you? Uh... It's been great. Um, yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. That's Watching good. other people That's do their good, events. Man. That's good. And, uh, you know, are you keen on doing it next year as well? Oh, yeah. For yeah, sure. man. Well, for that's sure. awesome. Well, we're here with Jamie Kearns. Great long jumper and great high jumper and also triple jumper. So thanks, Jamie. Cheers, man. Hello and welcome to Dubsy TV. My name is Daniel Stockton and I'm here with Zach McSweeney, one of our relayers. So, Zach, tell us, what's your event and what's, when's so, it happening? I'm in the under-16 relay and I'll be running third. Awesome, man. So, uh, how have you been preparing for your event? So, we've been doing a lot of baton changes just up here on the field. And um, I think something to say about it is that it really reflects heavily on Dubsy in that our school model is obviously receive the light and pass it on. And that is exactly what we do in the relay. Oh, genius. Absolutely genius here from Zach. So, um, in the re have you done uh, this event before? Yeah. In previous years? And so, how, how have you gotten... So we've done really well each relay I've been. Uh, we've won, so that's incredible. That's awesome. Man. It's definitely my favourite event. It's you feel very close to the school and your team, your teammates. It's great. And hopefully the crowd will be behind you yeah. this year. Well, what I'm gonna say is good luck, Zach. Thank you very Hopefully much. Hope he wins. All right. Thank you very much, Thank man. Thank you. Welcome back to Dubsy TV. I'm here with Mr. Paul, the famous uh, Mr. Paul. And um, today I'm just gonna be asking you some questions about the shield. So first of all, I'd like to ask, what's your involvement with the McKevity Shield? Well, I'm just the middle distance coach, and I do a little bit of hurdles as well. Um, yeah, and I run around and do a few other things, but that's basically my role. That's good, that's good. And uh, who, is, who have you been coaching this year? Well, these are all the guys who run, some of them run 400 metres, and some of the, it'd be all the 800, 1500 and 3000 metre runners. Awesome, and uh, so what's your history? Have you always been doing the middle distance and the hurdles for a while? Yes, when I first started, I was actually in charge of athletics, so I was in charge of the whole group, and, uh, and I was middle distance as well, and doing hurdles, and I had a, another uh, co-coach with me that did just about everything else which would be uh, the jumps um, in the field events and all the sprints and he would do hurdles as well so uh, we worked as a team all the way up to about uh, 2001 from 1986 was my first McKevity and uh, yeah and then I got back into it in 2008 I started getting more involved in that but I haven't been in charge of the whole lot Mr Tinkle is in charge of athletics, before him was Mr. Wells. So at the moment, it's, it's quite nice for me just to do my own specialist stuff without worrying about entries and uh, all the administrative stuff. Great, well, that's wonderful. And I'd like to finally ask you, do you think we're gonna win this year, so four in a row? Yeah, so I think, I think we've, got, we've got 20 points on them, and we did pretty well on the track in the uh, 1500 meters, which has gone on since then. And I uh, hear James Knott won the triple jump, which is another field event. And you can't gain many points in the relays because there's only four teams, there's four lots of points. And each race you can only get a maximum of three points on the other school. And it's, it's win a few, lose a few, so it, it's sort of even, Stevens. So you can't pull back a big lead just on the relays. Well, it's looking good. The relays are just slide behind us. So thank you very much, sir. And uh, enjoy. Thank you. Cheers.